A growing number of young children are dying from poisonings related to opioids. That is according to new research from Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Health reporter Stephanie Stoll is here with details on this mm. alarming new study. It really is alarming, guys, isn't it? You know, the nationwide research focused on children under the age of five. Some were poisoned by over the counter pain and cold medicines, but the highest number of deaths came from opioids. The nation's opioid epidemic is having deadly consequences for children. A new study in the journal Pediatrics shows opioids are the most common substances leading to fatal poisonings in young children. In 2018, they accounted for 52% of deaths in children five and younger, a significant increase from 24% in 2005. Even small amounts of an opioid, just because kids are smaller um, and weigh less, can have a much greater effect. It can change how they're able to breathe. It can change their mental status, and that can potentially be fatal. Dr. Christopher Gaw authored the study and says within the past decade, children have been exposed to new opioid sources like heroin, fentanyl, and drug treatments like methadone and buprenorphine. At the Poison Center here at Children's Hospital Philadelphia, nurses and pharmacists field 65,000 calls each year. Other common substances, including over-the-counter pain, cold, and allergy medications, are also leading to deadly poisonings. What to do? The center is working with communities to help keep opioids and other drugs out of the reach of children in the first place. Supervision is helpful, but it's not the end-all, be-all because kids are quick and poisonings can happen in a split second. So what we recommend is that parents and families should focus on preparedness and prevention. They should keep medications and other toxic substances out of sight and out of mind. In fact, three-fifths of poisoning deaths happened in the child's home, a wake-up call for parents and caregivers to keep their kids safe. Now, researchers also recommend if you have opioids in the home that you also keep the medication naloxone in the home, which can be life-saving if a child is exposed to opioids. That's mm. true. Children under the age of five. Mm. It's astounding. That percentage Awful. that you yeah. showed was... Awful. Yeah. I mean, no words. It's crazy. Wow. Stephanie, thank you. Mm -hmm.